I was asked to um, talk about the technical aspect. And behind me you can see some pictures of our tournament played in Hamburg. And I would like to give you the paper, even one by myself. And so you can, I don't know how many we do have. Okay, this is the history of 60 years of tournament. We started in 1957, I guess. And it's like Cambridge against Oxford. So we have one little river, it's called Alster, and we, we, we thought about having competition between the left riverbank against the right riverbank. So it started with 156 students playing against each other in teams of eight. So we have a competition with teams of eight players each, and yeah, it started to become huge. So uh, two years ago we had 4,240 participants there, only from the city of Hamburg, so it's not a final thing, it's only from the city of Hamburg, 1.6 million inhabitants. So let's have a look to the paper here I brought to you. Technically, it works like this, that the Ministry of Education in Hamburg employs five teachers yeah, uh, working on this issues of chess. They do teach in school as well, but not full-time. Yeah? They do have two hours every week to work on the chess issues. Yeah? This is the first thing that is important. It's uh, called the Committee of Chess, yeah? working for the city of Hamburg, employed by the city. Like two lessons a week, they do chess things. Then they do run a web page for the tournament. It's called alsterufertunier.de, as you can see. And uh, the city is publishing press releases. So they support the tournament as well. And a PR agency is uh, hired to bring it all together to make um, some public relations work. So if you register to the tournament, it's uh, necessary to put a four-digit number um, for each team. Yeah, you, can, you can bring as much teams as you want to. Uh, there's already one school going as a whole to the tournament. Every student, like 576. Yeah? They do have their own tube going from the, from the school to the venue. <laughs> Only st no stops beside. The whole train is full of chess playing students. And um, as you can see, you, we need four digits. Like um, if you're primary school or secondary school, if you're mixed up uh, with um, your students from the fourth grade, or if it's a pure class team, and then it's, uh, it says if you are good at chess or not. So all you need is this web page and an Excel table to see all the digits, so you can mix them together, and you should know which side of the riverbank the school is from. Yeah, so. Um, then you can mix them up, like 500 teams, finding a match to everybody, and then playing chess. Yeah, that's how it works. And most important, you, get, you see on the paper, there's tickets. Yeah? On the tickets, you can see where every school is placed. As you can see the numbers here, perhaps, um, in a while, I'll wait for it. Um, that means 2,000 chess boards, by the way, uh, set up by 30 volunteers, um, all from my chess club, by the way. And um, technically, everybody has this card locating in the Barclay Card Arena. Yeah? So everybody's playing in this big arena, and you see some numbers at the table. That's your team number. Yeah, so if you're playing 221, you're playing against 222. Um, all the odd numbers are from the right side, yeah, and the even numbers are from the left side. So you mix them together, technically. Um, and yeah, that's all about it. You need some 120 volunteers to set up. Here you can see the numbers, 428 against 427. This is how we organize it. That's the technical way how to prepare a large-scale tournament. Like, yeah, as you can see, we have plenty of kids 
the Barclay Card Arena is full of chess playing kits. And the same that Jesper mentioned, it's very, very silent <laughs> there. Okay, so that's all about it. Usually nobody gets lost there. We have a large side program. Yeah, they can play blitz games and uh, they can play with balloons and everything. So um, in case you get lost, you can call the number that's written on the paper on the card and that's it, all about it. <laughs>